Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be drawing Hunter from the Owl House, so let's get into it. First things first, we go and start sketching in the circle. Then we could go ahead and add in two lines cutting through the circle, just like that. Next up, we could start dropping in the left eye. So coming in just like this with the shape. Then we could follow that up by dropping in the nose right next to it, so coming down. And you could notice that everything have like a pointed shape to it. Right, now we could hop over to the right and we could start playing in the right eye. So a similar shape to the left one. Alright, cool. Then we could just add in the rest of the details um, around the eyes. Afterwards, we could head over and drop in both the iris and the pupils for both eyes. And then we could go ahead and shade that in. Next, we could start playing in the left eyebrow. So we're just going in drawing in the shape. Then we could shade that in. Next, we could go over to the right and we could start dropping in the right eyebrow. Right, so just like that and then we could shade that in also. Now we could head down and we could start playing in the bags right underneath Hunter's eyes. And then we could just drop in the mouth right underneath that. Okay, starting with the face now. On the left hand side, we could come down with this line and we just go and bring it all the way down and we will make our way all over to the right hand side and from there we could start dropping in Hunter's pointed ears. So just like that, just add in the details right here and then we will pull like a little triangle shape right at the end there. Next we could hop over to the left hand side and we put in the other ear, so just like that. And then we could start um, bringing this line up by the forehead. And we'll stop right there for now. And we'll head down and just put in this, um, this mark on the left side of his face. So it's coming in like a curving triangle right here. So that's just for his scar. Alright, so now we could head back over and we could start um, working on the hairline. So we're going to come down with this point for the widow's peak right here. Then we'll bring this line all the way over here. And then we'll curve down for the um, the sideburns right there. Now on top we could start working on the hair. So we go and curve slightly up. And then we just go and um, bring these rest of hair strands coming down. All the way to the back of the um, head right here. Alright so next we can move over to the left hand side. And we could bring down this big swirling hair strand right here. And then we could end off that line right behind that. And then we could go back to the right and we could just um, end off this line in the back of the head. Okay, right below that we could start dropping in the neck. And we could add in this little detail around the neck for his collar. And then we could just put in this line curving around the neck for his hood. So just like that. Alright, so now on to the body. We could just bring down this line right here coming down. And we'll stop right here and we'll put other line coming across horizontally for the waist. And then from there we will continue lying down. Okay, so now at the waistline we could put in this triangle shape coming down. Next we could just draw in the left leg and notice how it kind of curve in a little bit as we come down. And for the right one it will be coming down straight but at an angle. So just like that. Next, we could just put in these small circles for the knee joints. And for the feet, we could drop in two triangles. And notice how the left one, the triangle facing towards us. So it's at a different angle. Ah, oh, funny, triangle angle. Okay, so next we could start working on the arms, so right on top here. So we could bring out these lines and notice how it um, angle into the back. And then we could do the same thing for the right arm. Then we could bring down these two lines curving right here by the torso. And we could connect that to the waist. And then from here we just basically thickening everything up. So we're going to add some um, thickness to the legs now. So just like that. Alright cool. And then we could add um, the final touches in the back. Which is his cape or his robe. But wait guys, we ain't finished yet. We still need to add the rest of the details to the clothing. So what we gonna do now, we gonna just um, lower the opacity of this layer and we'll create a new layer above. And we could start, you know, adding in the rest of the details. Alright, so now we can move on to working on the hood. 
so we just go and follow the initial guideline underneath so just like that and then right in front we could play in this triangle shape for like the necklace i believe it is right next from that triangle shape we go and curve off and tail up for the robe and then we'll end it off by the arm right there next we'll hop over to the right and do a similar thing but we'll stop right here and move up to the shoulder area and we'll play in this shoulder plate that um hunter have right here and i ain't gonna lie this kind of look like um you know a turtle shell and then we could just finish off that little part of the robe next we could start working on the arms so we will bring down the arms on both sides so just like that then followed up by the gloves and we could shade that in next we could um just curve right here on both sides for the waist and then after that we could drop in his belt and then we could shade in the strap afterwards we could just head down and we could join these three flaps and then we could just shade in the center one okay below that we could just start working on his legs and then we could start working on his long boots so coming down just like that and right as we get to the bottom we just go and um, grab the selector tool and we just go and move the feet up a bit and then we could just finish off the rest of the boot and then shade it in And we could go ahead and finish off the robe as well. Afterwards, we could just go in here and just erase some of the guidelines. And right at the bottom here we could just change the angle of the right foot and then we could just shade in the rest of the areas right here all right cool guys we finished with the cleanup sketch um now let me kick it into time lapse to do all the inking and we'll be back Alright guys, so we back after the time lapse and as you can see Hunter looking clean. Now we can move on to adding in all the colors. But while we adding in all the colors, just let me know what you guys think about Hunter because I'll be honest, I do not know anything about this character, but from the looks of the character design, he seemed like a pretty cool character, I ain't gonna lie. Right, so just let me know your thoughts on this character as we go in and finish off adding in all the colors. But yeah, for now, just sit back, relax, you know, grab some snacks if you need to. And, you know, let me just finish off adding in the colors. Alright guys, so we finished adding in all the colors, so before we move on to doing all the shadows, we just go and grab the liquify tool and just adjust the area by the belt right here. Alright, so we finished with that, now we can move on to adding in the shadows. So we could start adding shadows to the hair. Then we could start adding shadows to the ears. Then we could add some shadows to the jaw right here. And then underneath the neck. And right underneath his eyes, we could put in his eye bags. And now the only thing left is to add in the highlights to the different areas. So 
so just like that. Alright guys, so we finish and you know what coming next. Wait, you don't know? Well, let me tell you. And BAM! There you have it guys, the final illustration. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Alright, see ya.